Hello everyone. Welcome to another session on Tech Talk. Today I'm going to present to you about federated machine learning for Internet of Things, that's IoT networks. In this digital age, the Internet of Things has become an integral part of our lives. From smartphones to wearable devices, IoT networks are rapidly expanding, generating vast amounts of data. However, handling and processing this data poses significant challenges. That's where federated machine learning comes into play. Let's dive in. Federated machine learning is an approach to training and operating machine learning models in a distributed manner where the training data is kept locally on individual devices or servers and the models are trained and updated collaboratively without sharing the raw data. In federated machine learning, each device or server performs local model training using its own data and periodically shares only the model updates with a central server or aggregator. The central server then combines the model updates from multiple devices to create a global model that captures knowledge from all participants while preserving data privacy and security. IoT refers to the network of physical devices, vehicles, appliances, and other objects embedded with sensors, software, and connectivity, enabling them to collect and exchange data over the internet. These devices are typically equipped with sensors and actuators that allow them to interact with the physical world and communicate with each other as well as with other systems and applications. IoT enables the seamless integration of physical objects into the digital world, creating intelligent systems that can monitor, control, and optimize various it has applications in various sectors, including smart homes, smart cities, healthcare, agriculture, transportation, and even manufacturing. Currently, the Internet of Things and related technologies are playing pivotal role in designing, controlling, and managing large and complex systems such as industrial process, automation and optimization, surveillance, smart lighting, parking, waste management, leakage management, digital healthcare, smart grids, and many, many more. The typical ar architecture of these systems often consists of various heterogeneous and distributed interconnected devices. In traditional machine learning settings, the data generated by IoT devices is collected and analyzed in central nodes such as physical servers or cloud clusters, which usually have powerful computational resources. However, IoT devices are usually deployed at dispersed geographical locations with limited control. IoT devices are very resource constrained and suffer connectivity issues due to low bandwidth. Heterogeneity in hardware, software, and communications are also common challenges for any IoT infrastructure. Considering these challenges, continuous data collections from a large number of IoT devices and their storage at a central location is very often not feasible. Additionally, IoT devices can acquire highly personalized data that needs to be protected, ensuring compliance with GDPR-like compliances. From the context of IoT, federated machine learning is a decentralized approach to machine learning where multiple IoT devices train models collaboratively without sharing the data with a central server or cloud. Instead, the models are trained locally on the devices themselves, enhancing privacy and reducing data transmission overhead. Now let's look at some of the challenges that generally we face while implementing FML on IoT network. The IoT networks face several unique challenges that make their design and implementation more challenging than traditional networks. So let's look at some of the challenges. So of course, the number one challenge is limited bandwidth. IoT devices often operate with limited bandwidth, primarily due to their small size and low power consumption requirements. This constraint restricts the amount of data that can be transmitted and processed, necessitating efficient data compression and communication protocol. Second challenge that we can talk about is power constraints. Most IoT devices operate on limited power sources such as batteries or energy harvesters. This constraint requires IoT networks to optimize power consumption at every level 
including data pre-processing and processing, communication with server and device management. Third is data privacy concerns. IoT networks deal with a vast amount of sensitive data collected from various sources. This data includes personal, environmental, and organizational information. Ensuring that data privacy and security becomes a significant concern and steps must be taken to ensure communication channels encrypt data and ensure secure storage and processing. The fourth challenge that we talk about is the need for distributed learning techniques. IoT networks generate enormous amounts of data and it's often impractical to send all this data to a centralized server for processing and analysis. Distributed learning techniques allow data to be processed and analyzed locally on IoT devices, reducing the need for large-scale data transfer, minimizing latency and enhancing privacy. So the challenges that we discussed about actually is a good reason for FML to enter into IoT field. So IoT networks face unique challenges such as limited bandwidth, power constraints, and data privacy concerns, right? So to overcome these challenges, federated learning techniques are necessary to enable efficient and secure processing and analysis of data on IoT devices. Federated learning techniques involving training machine learning models on distributed IoT devices. These models can be trained collaboratively and share update with central server, resulting in improved accuracy without compromising on data privacy. By training models locally, IoT devices can leverage their computing capabilities and learn from local data, enabling real-time decision-making and reducing dependency on centralized resources. To mitigate the issue we just discussed, edge computing is becoming increasingly popular, which facilitates analytics at the device level without the need of transferring data to a cloud device. Initially, the edge and the fog computing was proposed to execute simple queries over low-powered distributed devices. A few recent studies in this field have focused on training machine learning models centrally and then deploying the trained models on local devices to provide personalization and mobile user modeling. However, with the enhanced storage and computational capabilities of edge devices, we can leverage the local resources on each device to train machine learning models using distributed data sets. One such technique is known as federated learning, and that's what we are here to talk about. In federated learning, the central server sends a copy of an untrained machine learning model to all clients in the network. Each client computes an update to the globally shared central model based on its local training data set and sends the updated local model parameters to the server. The server aggregates the updates from all the clients, updates global model parameters, and sends the updated model back to the clients. This process is repeated until the desired results are achieved. A classic example of this is the Google keyboard. When the keyboard shows a possible suggestion, your phone locally stores the information about the current context and whether you clicked the suggestion or not. This on-device information is then used to improve the next iteration of Google Keyboard suggestion. In Edge AI, Edge refers to the devices or the systems that are at the edge of a network, typically closer to the source of data generation. Edge AI involves running artificial intelligence algorithms and data processing directly on these edge devices rather than relying on centralized cloud computing. The main idea behind Edge AI is to bring AI capabilities closer to where the data is generated, processed, and consumed. This has several advantages such as reducing latency, enabling real-time decision-making, improving privacy and security, and reducing the need for constant internet connectivity. Edge AI can be used in various applications including smart homes, industrial automation, surveillance systems, autonomous vehicles, and wearable devices. By processing data locally on edge devices, AI models can provide immediate insights and responses, enabling faster and more efficient operations. The data is not shared at any point, privacy is maintained. It also reduces communication overhead in IoT networks and it only shares periodic model updates instead of sending huge chunks of raw data. Now let's look at how FML can be used 
in IoT networks. So your federated machine learning can be applied in IoT networks to facilitate the collaborative training of machine learning models using data from multiple IoT devices. Here is how FML can be implemented in an IoT network. Step one is data collection. IoT devices collect data from their respective environments. This could be sensor data, user behavior data, or any other relevant data. The step two is local model training. Each IoT device locally trains a machine learning model using the data it has collected. This local model is trained using traditional methods like gradient descent or stochastic gradient descent. Step three is model aggregation. The local models from the different IoT devices are sent to a central server or aggregator. The server aggregates the local models and creates a global model. Number four is model distribution. The central server distributes the global model to the IoT devices in the network. Each device receives an updated version of the global model. Step number five is local model update. The IoT devices further adapt the global model using their local data. They perform model updates using techniques like transfer learning or fine tuning. Sixth is model aggregation again. So the updated models from the IoT devices are sent back to the central server for aggregation. This process of aggregation and distribution continues iteratively. The next step is privacy preserving techniques. FML incorporates various privacy preserving techniques to ensure the privacy of the IoT device data. The last but not the least step is model evaluation. The performance of the global model is evaluated periodically to assess its accuracy and generalability. If necessary, further iteration of model updates and aggregations are performed to improve the model. By applying federated machine learning in IoT networks, the collective intelligence of multiple IoT devices can be leveraged to train more accurate and robust machine learning models. FML enables distributed learning while respecting the privacy of IoT device data, thereby promoting secure and collaborative machine learning in IoT environments. So in this slide, we look at the architecture of federated machine learning. So the architecture of uh, federated machine learning in IoT consists of three layers, the edge layer, the fog layer, and the cloud layer. And each layer has its specific role in the overall FML system. So the edge layer consists of edge devices such as sensors, actuators, and control systems. These devices collect and process data locally, allowing for real-time decision-making and reducing latency. In the context of federated machine learning, edge devices also participate in the training and inference of machine learning models. Edge devices can perform pre-processing and feature extraction from raw sensor data enabling them to send only relevant information to the higher layers. The edge layer is responsible for distributing the computation load and ensuring efficient resource utilization. The next layer is your fog layer. The fog layer is an intermediate layer between the edge and the cloud layers consisting of fog nodes or gateways. Fog nodes are more powerful computational devices that can perform more complex tasks compared to edge devices. These nodes collect data from multiple edge devices and perform aggregation, filtering, and additional pre-processing before forwarding the data to the cloud layer. The fog layer is responsible for reducing network congestions and filtering out redundant or irrelevant data before sending it to the cloud layer. In federated machine learning, fog nodes can also participate in training machine learning models in a distributed manner collaborating with other nodes in the fog layer. Now comes the topmost layer, which is the cloud layer. The cloud layer is a centralized layer responsible for aggregating and processing data from multiple edge and fog devices. It consists of cloud servers or data centers that have computational power and storage capacity for executing resource-intensive machine and learning tasks. The cloud layer performs tasks such as model training, model updates, and higher level decision making based on the aggregated data. The trained machine learning models are then deployed to the edge or to the fog layers for inference, enabling real-time decision making closer to the data source. The cloud layer also facilitates secure communication and coordination among different edge and the fog devices by providing authentication, encryption, and access control mechanism. So in summary, the architecture of FML 
in IoT leverages the distributed computing capabilities of edge fog and cloud layer. By offloading computation and decision making to edge and fog layers, the overall system can achieve real-time processing, reduce latency, and increase scalability. At the same time, the cloud layer provides the necessary computational resources and coordination mechanisms for training machine learning models and making higher level decisions. So what are the roles played by each of these layers in the federated machine learning? So we have seen that edge layer is responsible for collecting and pre-processing data from local devices or sensors. It performs local model training on the edge devices using the collected data. Edge layer also handles local inference, allowing the edge devices to make real-time predictions without relying on cloud resources. By training and inferring locally, the edge layer helps preserve data privacy as raw data does not need to be sent to the cloud. The fog layer acts as intermediary between edge and the cloud layers, providing additional computing power and resources and services. It performs data aggregation from multiple edge devices, reducing the amount of data that needs to be transmitted to the cloud layer. The fog layer can perform further pre-processing, feature extraction, or filtering of data from edge devices to improve data quality and reduce noise. We can also participate in the model training process by collaborating with other fog or edge devices, allowing for distributed training and improved model accuracy. The third layer, the cloud layer, serves as the central hub for federated learning where global model training and aggregation take place. It receives model updates from edge and fog devices, aggregates them and trains a global model using the aggregated data. The cloud layer facilitates the coordination and synchronization of model updates from multiple devices or participants in the federated learning process. After training the global model, the cloud layer distributes the updated model to the edge and fog layers for inference and deployment. It can also perform higher level analytics, extract insights from the aggregated data and make decisions based on the learned model. So the edge layer focuses on local data collection, pre-processing and model training, while the fog layer assists in data aggregation and distribution of your model training. The cloud layer serves as the central hub for global model training, coordination and model deployment. This layered approach in federated learning enables intelligent decision making while ensuring privacy and reducing the need for centralized data storage. So before we end this session, we'll talk about some of the benefits that federated machine learning provides to us. So let's explore them. First, of course, is privacy protection. With the increased concern about data privacy, federated machine learning ensures that the sensitive data remains on the local devices. This eliminates the need to transfer data to a central server, reducing the risk of data breaches or privacy violation. The efficient data processing. The IoT networks generate massive amount of data. By implementing federated machine learning, the resource required for data transmission and storage are significantly minimized. This approach allows for localized processing and reduces the strain on network bandwidth. Improved model accuracy. Collaborative training of models on multiple devices enhances model accuracy and generalization. Each device learns from its local data, capturing unique patterns and contributing to the overall model's performance. Decentralized infrastructure. Federated machine learning eliminates the need for a centralized infrastructure, making it suitable for IoT networks with limited connectivity. Local devices can autonomously train models, be it at the edge or within the device itself, enabling real-time decision-making and reducing dependency on a central server. Scalability. Federated machine learning allows for easy scalability as new devices are added to the IoT network. Each new device can contribute its local knowledge, further improving the overall model's performance. So we have come to the end of this presentation. Before we go, let's look at what we discussed. In this presentation, we have seen that the federated machine learning for IoT networks offers a decentralized privacy preserving and efficient approach to processing and analyzing vast amount of IoT data. It ensures data privacy, improves model accuracy, and enables real-time decision-making, making it an essential technique for the future of IoT applications. Thank you so much for your attention, and we'll see you in the next TED Talk.